Hello and welcome to WooCommerce plugin series of Quick Tips. In this series of videos, I will show you all the details about WooCommerce plugin to create e-commerce website. If you are new to my channel, then do subscribe to the channel to get the quick tips on website design, search engine optimization and social media marketing tools. So let's start with the video. So in the last video, we created hotel room bookings product using WooCommerce bookings plugin. That was the basic WooCommerce bookings plugin. And in this product, people will be able to select different types of rooms and they will be able to select number of days they want to book. Let's see, in this example, we can select three days and you will see the pricing changes according to the room selected. And this was the simple bookings product. And we also created another product for beauty spa salon where people will be able to select the date and the time slot they want to book. So that was using the WooCommerce bookings plugin. This was the basic plugin. And now in this video, we will see how to use WooCommerce accommodation bookings plugin. So this is specially designed for accommodation bookings uh, for hotel rooms. And there are some additional features added to this extension so this is an extension of this basic plugin and the basic plugin will cost you 249 dollars and this plugin is free but you need to have this basic plugin installed on your woocommerce website so you can buy this plugin from this woocommerce website or you can also go to this gpl mall website and you can buy the plugin from this website also that will cost you 15 dollars however you will not get any technical support or you will not get any update to the plugin if you buy it from this website so if you are new you can start from here so you can buy the plugin from here and if you think that it's a good plugin then you can go ahead and buy the original plugin from the WooCommerce website so this is the sample product created using the WooCommerce accommodation bookings plugin you can see that it starts from 500 rupees per night and you will see check-in and check-out so check-in date and check-out date is there and you will also see check-in and check-out time. This is something different than the basic plugin. You can see here. So using this plugin, it will add accommodation option to the WooCommerce bookings extension. It will also add check-in and check-out times. It will allow the booking duration to be specified as number of nights. And it will also add an override price feature that automatically enables special rates on weekends or holidays so let's see here I'm going to select two days so I'll be checking in on Tuesday and check out on Thursday so it will be like two nights and that will cost me 2000 so 1000 rupees per night now if I select the days on Saturday Sunday then you will see there is a different price for the same room and here is an additional 400 rupees if I select Saturday and Sunday so we have different rates on Saturday and Sunday for this particular room so these are the additional features included in this WooCommerce accommodation bookings plugin so let's see how to create a product using this WooCommerce accommodation bookings plugin so you need to download this free extension and before that you need to install this WooCommerce bookings plugin so if you are not sure how to install and how to create product using WooCommerce bookings plugin you can watch my previous video right so you can download it and save it on your computer I already have this plugin downloaded on my computer so let's go to plugin and then go to add new here go to upload plugin now browse the WooCommerce accommodation bookings plugin and click on install now I already have it installed on my website so I'm not going to click on install but you can click on install and then activate the plugin all right now go to products let me close all these tabs and go to add new so we are going to create new product using this new extension so name of the product so this is the name of the product select the type of the product that is a combination product it has resources the resources will be the type of rooms that you want to offer and it has persons okay now minimum number of nights allowed in booking so at least one night booking should be allowed and this is the maximum number of nights allowed in booking so 
no one will be able to book more than seven nights okay if you want to change it you can make changes here display calendar on click leave it as it is it can be cancelled yes if you want them to cancel then check this box and cancellation up till one month or you can say three days before the checking dates if you check this box they will be able to cancel the order and a refund will not be sent automatically you will need to do it manually and this will be the date before the check-in all right now let's go to resources we are going to add the room type so let's add room type and so click on this add link or resources this will be the budget small room so this is the type of room that I'm going to add add another type of room that is deluxe one and this will be the third type of room that is super deluxe click one click OK all right so these are the three types of rooms so let's go to persons so minimum persons one and maximum four so we will not allow for more than four persons in single room now let's go to availability number of rooms available leave it as it is so person can book one room or more than one room at a time okay bookings can be made starting into the future so if you want them to book right now then leave it as it is zero and maximum bookings I'll make it 15 days so we will have 15 days or let's have 30 days so people will be able to book within 30 days so it's not more than 30 days so this will be the range of the booking days okay now if you want to restrict selectable days you can check this box and add the feature now rates so this is the standard rate so I'm starting with 500 display cost will be 500 okay now I want to charge 200 rupees more on weekend so what I'll do I'll select a range of nights during the week and from Saturday to Monday so Saturday check-in and Monday checkout and it will be an additional cost of 200 that will be 700 rupees so we are i'm going to charge 200 rupees more on these two days saturday night and sunday night all right now let's add the product image and select category let's publish the product and see how does this look well let's view the product so this is the name of the product starting from 500 rupees per night person you can select uh, one two three four all right now this, these are the three types of rooms and these are the check-in date and checkout date so you can select from here Let's select Tuesday to Thursday so two nights and it will show thousand rupees and if I select Saturday Sunday then it will be 1400 rupees so it will cost 700 rupees per night so for two nights it will be 1400 rupees so this is how you can add the extra charges on weekends now we need to make changes to the pricing of these two types of rooms so let's go back to the product and go to resources and here you can add additional prices for deluxe so the basic price of the deluxe will be 500 plus 300 that will be 800 and the super deluxe will be 500 plus 500 that will be thousand rupees so for the super deluxe room it will be thousand rupees per night okay now let's update it we also need to make changes to the quantity of rooms so let's go to resources and click on edit resource for all the three resources okay so we have 10 rooms 10 budget small rooms update 10 deluxe one rooms update and 10 super deluxe rooms all right now let's go back to the product and refresh the product 
Okay, now this time we are going to select Super Deluxe Room. Select the date between Tuesday to Thursday. So that will be two nights and the price will be 2000 because for the Super Deluxe Room, we have 1000 rupees per night. Now if I select between Saturday and Sunday, it will be additional 200, so 200 per day. So it will be 2400. So it is 400 rupees additional for Saturday and Sunday. Now if I select Friday to Sunday, then you will see only 200 rupees will be charged extra because Friday is not the day where we are going to charge extra. It, it will be only Saturday and Sunday. So now in this booking, only Saturday comes as, as an extra charge. So it will be only 200 rupees extra charge. Now this is the check-in and check-out time. Now let me show you where to change it. Let's go to dashboard. Here go to bookings and go to settings. Now go to accommodation. Here you can change the check-in and check-out time. So let me show you how to change it. I'll make it 11.30 a.m. is the check-in time and check-out time will be 11 a.m. Let's save it. Now refresh it. Now here's, here you will see the changes to the time, the check-in and check-out times. All right, so this is how you can use this WooCommerce Accommodation Bookings plugin. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.